Let's take a look at this example. I would first factorize x squared from the polynomial which is under the radical. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy limit with x going to the infinity and I'm going to have cube root of x squared and inside of the parenthesis I'm going to have 3 plus 4 over x square over and I have x plus 3. Next I'm going to rewrite this cube root as the product of two cube roots. So I'm going to have limit with x going to the infinity and simply write cube root of x squared times cube root of 3 plus 4 over x squared over denominator. From the denominator I'm going to factorize x. I have x and in parentheses I'm going to have 1 plus 3 over x. Next I'm going to change the radical to the exponent and I'm going to rewrite my problem as limit with x going to infinity and I have x 2 over 3 times cube root of 3 plus 4 over x square and I have x in the denominator times 1 plus 3 over x. Please notice that we factorize x in order to create fractions which have x's in the denominator because if you are going to have constant in the numerator and x is going to go to infinity this fraction is going to approach 0. So I can say that this is going to be uh, going to 0 and this one is going to also go to 0 so my problem is going to be a little bit looking simple and also the same story is going to happen over here if you are going to factorize x's you can reduce these x's even if I have power 2 over 3 simply remember the properties of exponents anytime we have no exponent there is invisible one and simply divide these two x's by keeping x and subtracting the exponents so you are going to have limit x is going to infinity and I have x and 2 third and minus 3 third is equal negative 1 third so and I'm going to have over here cube root 3 plus 4 over x square over 1 plus 3 over x. So we can rewrite this as limit with x going to the infinity and this is nothing else just 1 over x to 1 third parenthesis and we have cube root of 3 plus 4 over x square over 1 plus 3 over x. So because I have 
constant in the numerator and x is going to the infinity that's why this fraction is going to approach zero and because i have constant in the numerator and x is going to infinity this is going to approach zero and again i have constant in the numerator and x is going to infinity that's why this is also going to approach zero in the parentheses i'm going to have constant i'm going to have cube root of 3 over 1 which is cube root of 3 0 times constant is equal 0 that's why this is the solution to my problem let's take a look at this example this time we're supposed to divide the numerator and denominator by 3 to power x so i have limit with x going to infinity and we have 2 over 3x plus 3 to power x over 3 to power x over 3 over 3 to power x plus 3 to power x over 3 to power x so this is going to be equal limit with x going to the infinity and and i have 2 over 3 to x plus 1 over 3 to 3 to x plus 1. now if x is going to the infinity and i have constant in the numerator this fraction is going to approach zero and again i have constant in the numerator and x is going to the infinity that's why this fraction is going to approach zero too that's why i have one over one which is equal one. This is the solution to my problem.